Maxim Crane is a company in the United States that rents out cranes and helps with lifting heavy things. They have different kinds of cranes that can lift from 80 to 1,000 tons. These cranes are really good at doing lots of different jobs. They can put small generators on construction sites or even build big structures by stretching over 300 feet across a work site. Maxim's cranes are made to work in places that are not easy to drive in, like marshes or sandy areas. These cranes have big tires, can drive on all kinds of ground, have things called outriggers and counterweights. Maxim has lots of locations across the U.S., so customers can get their hands on the best all-terrain crane quickly. The K25 Capel was a transport job done by a French company called Capel. They're pros at moving big and heavy stuff. They used a new trailer called the Schuler Kamag K25 to carry 140-ton steel girders from Dunkirk Port to a construction spot. This trailer is cool because it can change to fit different sizes and shapes of loads. It's strong, not too heavy itself, and has a special suspension system to keep things steady. The job was finished in 2014, and it was the first time in Europe they used these new K25 trailers. This is the Champlain Bridge in Montreal, Canada, constructed back in 1962. Now at the end of its useful life, Mamoué Services took charge of its careful demolition. Employing hydraulic megajacks, Mamoué meticulously carved out and removed sections of the bridge deck and steel arches. These megajacks boast a hoisting capacity of up to 2,400 tons. Positioned on barges beneath the bridge, they lifted the sections from below. Subsequently, these components were transported via barges to a nearby recycling yard for repurposing. The project demanded thorough planning and coordination due to its complexity. Remarkably, Mamaway completed the demolition ahead of schedule in 2021 with no disruptions to traffic or adverse environmental impacts. Kona Cranes Hellas makes strong lifting stuff. One thing they make is a big 35 tons overhead crane. It can lift and drop heavy stuff. This crane is super long, stretching over 33 meters. It needs a special truck and trailer to be carried around. Kona Cranes Hellas has sent it to lots of places in Greece and other countries. This crane is top notch with the latest tech, safety, and reliability. Plus, it can be changed to fit what each customer wants. You can add things like wheels, a remote control, or smart features. Setting up and looking after it is easy because Cone Cranes Hellas has a good service team to help. Next, we've got the ESP-8 by Kona Cranes Gottwald. It's a sixth-generation mobile harbor crane that can handle containers, general cargo, project cargo, and bulk cargo. This crane can handle ships up to the post-Panamax class, which are too big to go through the Panama Canal. It can reach out to 54 meters, lift up to 150 tons, and move at a speed of 120 meters per minute. It runs on electricity and uses cutting-edge technology. Plus, it's designed to be eco-friendly, easy to use, and long-lasting. The first ESP-8 crane was bought in November 2021 by Terminal San Giorgio in Genoa, Italy.
Mamowit, the Dutch corporation renowned for lifting some of the world's heaviest objects and equipment, faced a daunting task in 2018. They had to relocate a 3,000-ton dragline excavator from one Australian coal mine to another, spanning a distance of 100 kilometers. Transporting such a massive machine without causing significant wear and tear posed a considerable challenge. Seeking expertise, the project turned to Mamaway specialists, experienced in moving drag lines of similar magnitude using SPMTs. The transportation plan was intricate, with a strict schedule to adhere to. It involved navigating steep inclines and declines of 10%, negotiating multiple power line obstructions and crossing rivers. Complicating matters further, there was a narrow 24-hour window following each railroad crossing. Missing this window would mean a month-long delay until the next opportunity arose. Despite facing unforeseen delays, such as a five-day setback due to rainy weather in the final stretch of the journey, Mamoui's team rallied. Additional workers were brought in to help stick to the planned schedule. Remarkably, despite the challenges, the drag line reached its destination well ahead of the deadlines and in pristine condition. NCSG Crane and Heavy Haul is a company in Western Canada that rents out mobile cranes and helps move heavy stuff. They've been doing this for more than 35 years and serve different industries like oil, gas, utilities, forestry, mining, and wind energy. They have 10 places where they work from and around 400 people working for them. Originally, they started as a company run by indigenous people and have worked with many indigenous groups along the energy routes in Canada. Their main goal is to come up with solutions and they really care about safety. Next, we've got the Barnhart Movable Counterweight. This system helps with cantilever operations, making them easier and more efficient. It's made up of a beam and a counterbalance that moves along it to balance the weight. There's a remote control that handles the counterweight, ensuring safety and reducing risks for the crane operator. This rigging system has one line and one lifting point. It can lift up to 70,000 pounds at a reach of 5 feet and 12,000 pounds at a reach of 10 meters. You can get it with either a single or double beam setup, and it's handy for avoiding obstacles when lifting or moving things around. TNT Crane and Rigging is a big crane service provider in North America. They have over 600 cranes, including really powerful ones with a lifting capacity of 1,300 tons. Here, an 800-ton crane from TNT Crane and Rigging is putting two huge containers onto vehicles for transport to Bayport Terminal. Each container weighed about 500 tons. These big crates were moved with 30 police vehicles, 20 bucket trucks, and other support vehicles in a week-long journey. The whole operation needed careful planning and coordination, and the crane operators and riggers showed their skill and expertise.
In Austin, Texas, TNT crane and rigging had to move two big live oak trees, each weighing over 350,000 pounds. These trees were part of a special place but had to be moved to make space for something new. TNT used a special vehicle called the Goldhofer PST to lift and carry the trees to their new spot. The Goldhofer PST is really flexible and can carry huge stuff. It has lots of axles that can steer on their own and a hydraulic suspension that can change how high or tilted it is. Moving the trees took a while and needed careful planning and timing. Thankfully, they managed to do it without hurting the trees, and now the trees can keep growing in their new home. Did you learn something new? Smash that like button and subscribe for more awesome content.